Hello and welcome back to another episode of Skyrim Requiem 3 BF Tweaks. My name is Saiken and today we're continuing Diaries of Death, the permadeath runs. Uh, this time we're following yet again Isaac the Reborn, the mage playthrough. And uh, we are about to kill a dragon. I have progressed uh, the Blade in the Dark uh, main questline. Because I still want to try to push as far towards uh, that Elder Scroll as possible. And uh, we are definitely going to go and at least try our luck with a, the dragon. Equally, we could finish the Horn of Jorgen Windcaller. Uh, that will be uh, leading us towards uh, the uh, hilltop of uh, the world, uh, the highest mountain. And that opens another quest for us, which I would Whoa. want to do today as well. The uh, White Vial uh, quest, which allows us to get like a super good potion uh, that is worthwhile pursuing. So, lots to come. Let's see if we can uh, ramp it all up in one episode. So, in the background, you can already see Alduin doing his dirty deeds. Alduin is right there. Trying to resurrect this dragon. And we gotta be careful because this is our re uh, real first, uh, our first real test. Attack him and see how much of the damage we can actually do. Cargo certainly has taken a pretty sizable hit. Um, what I would say is we could use Healing Ray. Maybe get him back in the combat. Comrade has decided to completely ignore that. Pretty sizable damage, but uh, we do have good magic resist as well, and our ward holds strong against him. Okay, how about we're trying something else, a couple of bears. Lightning is okay damage, nothing to write home about. I'll keep the ward as and when needed. He's still fighting that one bear. want to be caught up here in the open. They deal a bit of damage against him, which is all we can ask for. It's going to be a longer fight. Careful with the wing slaps. Uh, he does have a reach from here. Surprisingly tanky. Just gotta be careful not to get wing slapped. And just renew the summoning as and when needed. Thank you. 
Mr. Running Out. Good time to rebirth. Oh, I should have had, uh, seen that one coming. Luckily, luckily we do have a good uh, magic resist. takes the heat off of us. Now those stones, uh, theoretically I can hide behind them all day long. almost like a hydra whenever he bites off one of the bears slash heads another one another two are here to take their place there. Let's regenerate some more mana. Magicka rather. Buffs are still fine thanks to our longer buff duration. New bear. New 
keep him here on that hill ledge. Take the bear, please. And let our archer kill you in peace. Oh, that stuff takes a long time to recharge. There. And our charges are depleted by the but the staff itself can only mention that again is quite efficient with uh, its charges. The first soul gem we're getting a lot of value out of it. Archer was almost done, so I'll take another range DPS in its place. Okay, it seems that innocents are currently be involved in this fight. Still fights the spirit bear. Love it. Okay, we need to move away. We're sitting right next to him. It does. Funnily enough, hiding saves you.
play mad for now. I feel that they are, despite dealing fire damage, they still deal a respectable amount over the period of their lifetime. Well, maybe I'm wrong. Maybe they did absolutely nothing. I just saw the regular getting hit and taking no damage. Careful not to drop too low. I think we could use some more magicka. Um, there we go. Trying to rebuff now. He's grounded, so he really can't reach us at the moment. That and the and that. Fair time. Two bears are just stealing extra damage, so that's what we're trying to do. Uh, them up as long as possible. The problem with the staff is it has a really long casting time. Sort of offset its low charges that it requires. And the, uh, the whole time when you are casting, you're not regenerating Magicka. So this break here for me is letting the bears uh, do their work. It also regenerates the Magicka.
big pushback by the bears. There we go. There we go. We'll get uh, the bones later to sell all of them. So yeah, that was a dragon fight. We only had summonings and alteration, so and unperk one hand, so not necessarily kind of uh, the most active combat where you are going in all the time, but it still got the job done. Nothing helped that. I'm one of the last. A very for the last. Now that dragons are coming back, our purpose is clear again. The first, the Thalmor are our best lead. If they aren't involved, they'll know who. We Nothing's the Empire, and now that who else gains from that but the Thalmor? If we problem is that place is locked, I'm not very good. So, Thalmor Embassy would be one of our next window. moves, and we got a dragon soul. Which kind of begs the question what type of a shout do we want to level with it? We got Ethereal, which is an absolute fantastic shout. And I think we're just, that's a no-brainer. Absolute no-brainer for a dead is dead run. And a good one, I mean, we can absorb a lot of damage with that. Cool. Anyways, uh, off to our next target. I want to see if we can uh, do the White Vowel quest or at least the starter. Good. Well, we are. We've started uh, the White Vile uh, file quest, which will bring us accidentally into the Forsaken Cave, where we also need to find the Ring of Pure Mixtures. So it's a two for one deal. How could we not do that? This should be rather interesting as we are going to face off a few trolls. Which begs the question, do I still have charges on my axe? I do not. So let's get a couple of helpers out. with the troll who by the way is the least of our concerns in here it's just getting more difficult throughout the dungeon because there is a small set of runes further in here by the way finally hotkeyed the bear There we go, Drogers. Gosh, I should get the timing of this one right. Can't hotkey my axe of wide run for whatever reason, but as you can see, Droga contract now starts to become a bit more simple. That is good, that is fantastic. Yep, there we go. It's our Drogers now. Right. 
go in and get that done. Gotta love those two-handed rogers and also our prolonged uh, summoning time. They are lasting for a while now. Speaking about which they still can block us. One and two. There we go. Looks like an ice stroger to me. Very good. Also decent experience actually. We got to deal with that healing. It's starting to reach the point where it's not really helpful anymore. test something because I actually haven't tested that TM can be dual cast now which would get us a whooping 250 hit points I like that it's actually not too bad we'll uh, amend the groups afterwards the spell groups, I mean. <laughs> he got nicely shoved away. Good, the Draugr is pushing forward, no problem with that. I like the initiative, but I don't like... Well, 
when we're being cornered like this. How did that escalate so quickly? Oh my gosh. Fully got stuck in there, thanks to Ethereal. Not a problem, but wow. Not cool. Yeah, everything was smooth sailing until the bear blocked. Lesson for me to not have uh, bears in those small corridors. just have too much of a hitbox, so can't really deal with that. Is the crew coming? Alright, go ahead. Don't be shy. Yes, any any time now? Oh thank you. Expert may be doable. No, the answer is no. Get our army back up. Can you guys move, please? Like, I'm all up for team building. No, this is a bit too much, in my opinion.
Oh, luckily the ice shell did not hit us. With the exception of that one small situation, we did it actually quite well. Our chemical that is helpful. And it's the ring that we need. That's a nice loot box overall. Is there another boss chest? I think no. But all things considered, it was actually quite okay. Could have been worse. The fireballs at the end uh, were a bit of a redemption arc for that sloppy uh, mid game. Really should have known better than uh, to let myself be blocked in there. Okay, wait a second. I think we haven't finished all of. Yeah, we haven't finished all of the tasks. There is still the white vile. There is still the white vile. And I think it was somewhere behind one of those walls. Oh yeah, too obvious. do we get a truckload of really good alchemical uh, stuff we also get the skill book which is good free skills are always welcome And the broken vial itself. Cool. Anything uh, in particular that is outstanding? A couple of frost salts and fire salts, they are good. We'll use them for crafting. And yeah, that's uh, really it. Let's go back, hand in both of the quests and see what else we can do. Look at that. I just wanted to hand in some quests and guess what happened? A dragon came along. What kind of dragon are you? There are plenty of folks around, so we're not going to make attention for the dragon so far. Let's see, does fire help? Sort of, not really.
still not sure what kind of dragon he is. Oh, okay. That's a lightning dragon, one with a nasty uh, zoom that looks like uh, degeneration. Don't want to get hit by that. of a dick move. Certainly doesn't help win immediately begins to scoop out. Okay, time to resummon. Filling up my little turret base here. Our strategy will be, let's not get hit by the dragon, and let's hit them in return. Easy peasy. Gosh, what a nasty terrain to fight the dragon in. You can see the degeneration look of that. It's pretty gnarly. And ticks on and on and on. Still continues. And he even killed the flame astronaut. So if he can kill a flame astronaut with uh, the degeneration, we are definitely toast. Time to recharge. Gosh, this is going to be a long fight. I'll just fast forward parts of it. Okay, so we nailed him down. And almost got him to surrender. I continue letting bears do the dirty work. Uh, they tend to be quite effective against dragons. Funnily enough, slowly but surely once he was grounded, things were looking much better for us. There we go. Took quite a while. Fox ran out and it's now during the night. Few people died uh, throughout, unfortunately, a couple of villagers, but it is what it is. Uh, dragon attacks typically don't happen that, uh, that often, 
so I figured I just wanted to share those with you. Um, let's just get that healing ray going. What are we fighting against? Oh, troll. I see. Well, the guards securely got that one. Okay, back to uh, trading in quests and uh, thinking about the next steps. Attention, everyone. So, I decided upon reflection. We want to progress the main storyline. Not so much because I want to be the best Dragonborn that ever existed, but um, I also want to do that. But I think Isaac really could benefit from the Elder Scroll, and I want to push it as far as I can. Let's go, let's go. Before anyone notices us. In order to uh, in order to progress that, uh, the embassy is our next gig. Good time to put this on. And this, and this. Could sell a couple of uh, those. And I think we're good to go. To the kitchen. Your gear is hidden in the locker. Stay close and let me do any talking. Got it? Follow me. Time to rebuff. Who comes, Malvern? You know I don't like strange smells in my kitchen. A guest feeling ill. Leave the poor wretch be. You know that it's against the rules. Rules, is it, Savani? I didn't realize that even moon sugar was permitted. Perhaps I should ask the ambassador. Get out of here. I saw nothing. Your gear is in that chest. I'll lock the door behind you. Don't screw this up. I won't. I need to lock the door behind you, or the patrols might notice something's wrong. Fantastic. So far, so good. Wizard, on the other hand, is a bit of an ouch. As a poison dagger. Alright, I figured for a second I would need to drink a superior healing potion, but we're fine. Not the cleanest way of handling the situation. And seeing that he has poisoned his weapon, I'll tell you what, we're actually going to... use our anti-poison which I didn't have as a spell yet. Healing aura, heal self, new. No. Well, need to get that. Poison is definitely something that we're still relatively weak against. I do have a potion of cleansing, but that would have taken away all of the buffs as well. Need to craft some remove poison potions in particular. Good, he was out of uh, magicka. Cool, I think what we're going to do is 
actually going to use you guys as yeah, my personal guards. There was still one more up here, but I might be wrong. The next part is the one that is definitely most difficult because we're uh, going into the outer area. Surpassing Magicka Potion. Definitely pays out to carefully look through all of uh, these here. Excellent stuff that we can get. We don't want to yet go out. Unfortunately, my summonings are not lasting long enough. Okay, so in terms of next combat, so a couple of mages, I actually would want to have those two up. Let's go. Careful with our stamina. Good, our summonings should be capable of uh, getting them down. Good. Good bears. Very good bears. I am wondering, is there anything that we need for our companion, but our weapons are better than the stuff that we're looting here. A couple of really nice elven arrows and just generally good armor. Alright.
Goku that was a trickster. I believe for us, he never got any spells off. Ring of Eminent Destruction? Wow, okay. Wait, just double checking. Yeah, okay. Nice. Yeah, I take that Venom. Oh, it's not bad. Good find on that ring. Overall, really decent loot here, specifically for an alchemist. Whilst we're at it, might as well rebuff. Two nice weapons. Blaze is fire damage and consuming is absorb health, which I think we don't have yet. Can't open that safe. All right, decent overall loot. That's actually a little bit better than decent. Got ourselves like four or five hundred gold pieces, plus uh, a lot of good equipment, including the Peerless Ring of Destruction. I, that was pretty sick. And a good uh, further book, Lightning Bolt, very decent spell. Okay, so we're almost rebuffed. Let's get those two here going. And since they are using a lot of fire magic. We're using one of our fire potions. And here we go. Bear just clean house. Listen up, spy. You're trapped in here, and we have your accomplice. Surrender immediately. Well, damn it, they killed our friend. Oh. 
This playthrough really teaches me the value of these bears. Holy shit, they are good. I told you. I don't know what. What? Who? Yeah. Come on. This way. Whatever you want. But let's go now. Good. We can open that. For a staff of raised at four, that is incredibly powerful. A bit of illusion improvement. Okay, cool. I like the staff. That'll be helpful in higher level content. So bigger drogers, like almost everything can be raised with that. Cool. So that was the Thelmer Embassy. I'll do some storylining, but we're definitely nearing the end of today's episode. So as per the usual, let's do what we're always doing at the end of an episode, which is leveling up. Destruction needs to get to 50. There we go. Alteration very much needs to hit 75. Fantastic. Uh, wondering if we go with Conjuration 75 next. I think that's a fair idea. And we still got lots of points left over. I think for now, restoration would be the obvious choice for me. Cool. Some more baseline magicka, because we want to be able to use the amulet. And in terms of perks, I already mentioned, we have a couple of really heavy hit air perks here. 10% flat reduction of all spells. So good. Absolutely fantastic perk. We could get five more magic resistance or we're going into expert alteration, which isn't a bad perk either. Spell armor. We could get Mage Armor 4 here. I think we do have uh, the Magicka to pull it off. And with that, uh, Spell Armor is a highly lucrative uh, one. Spell Absorption wouldn't happen immediately, but yeah, I think we're going for Expert Alteration. Mage Armor Ring 4, yes please. Absorb Magicka wouldn't be bad. Um, Paralyze isn't bad either. If we can land it. 
never really worked well with that telekinetic nova but it doesn't mean that it's a bad spell it's just I haven't yet uh, used it telekinetic disarray is a damaging spell but that seems to not work so well I tell you what we're going with para uh, paralysis it's kind of a known quantity and the next few perks here would be getting five more magic resist and then uh, getting that extra spell armor that's a good one so let's just test something out real quick Already moving closer towards uh, that uh, magical 800 armor number, which we will reach in the end game. We will have, we will bar uh, armor penetration. We will be just as tanky as a uh, as a full plate character. Now, of course, uh, they would have a couple of other um, benefits, but yeah so that's great i like it and we're still rocking very close to 60 uh, magic resist that's great uh, with the next iteration that would be 65 and yeah i mean uh, so with the next iteration of our sp uh, spell armor the extra perk that would be 65 so that's good. I like what I'm seeing. Um, if you like that as well, feel free to uh, leave a like down below. Then we, all of us, like everything. And uh, yeah, uh, see you in the next episode. Two days from now. Bye bye.